Access to innovation is a strategic partnership that allows companies to gain access to expanding developing world markets with products and solutions that have been developed in collaboration with humanitarian organizations and university researchers. We are good at doing the research part, but the other uh, partners we have in the project is very good in, in their field. So, so this of bringing knowledge into action, I think it is uh, really the, the huge benefit of uh, this approach. In essence, it's all about combining the insights from the NGOs with the researchers, methodologies and state-of-the-art technologies, and not the least the companies, technologies and production capacity. If we combine this, we can create new innovative business-driven solutions that can target the demands on the ground in developing countries. The vast markets in developing countries have been notoriously hard to reach for Western companies. It is expensive and painstaking to gain access to an unfamiliar market with no local network and without exact knowledge of potential customers' demands. I see a potential because Access Innovation knows all the um, uh, NGOs in, in a lot of places in Africa. And for us as a small company with a new product idea, to come to Africa and start with, uh, without having this network, uh, we can't do it. There's a huge potential for innovative approaches in, um, in business, for business. Um, but I, I, I would also say that it's very important that whatever uh, innovations and ideas there come have to find their place in the business model and they have to find their place in the business model in a competitive way. What I think is strong about access to innovation is that it, uh, it supports the companies from the very beginning in, in identifying opportunities but also in maturing these ideas and into uh, actually viable business models and the key component of that is actually testing the business models and by linking up to local partners the companies have a, a vital opportunity to come down and actually test their ideas on the ground and see what works and what doesn't work in an in a environment with, a, with a strong local partners and that's, a, that's of high value for the companies. In order to sell anything you need to meet a demand. Demands that are only too familiar to the NGOs that have been working locally in developing countries for decades. For us we see this as an opportunity to even deliver more benefits to our impact group and then of course as an organization what we also see as a benefit is uh, really learning from this new kind of partnership with different uh, players, especially the private sector and the research institutions. Access to, to innovation provides us, as I look at it, um, a single stop center that we could go to this single place and get access to information uh, regarding what private sector partnerships are available to our problems, uh, what academia, you know, academic support to our problems and what NGO partnerships we need for our problems. And I think that's a unique combination of attributes. As a development organization, there's enough for us to do. Uh, and unfortunately, our, our funding isn't endless. So, so many times we need to cut back on issues like innovation and, and development of our own approaches and ideas. We also, uh, we also have a tendency, I think, to, to focus a bit inward. Uh, we, we use some practices, we find them good, and then we continue to lose them because they tried and tested. Uh, and, and while that's happening, uh, the outside world develops and, uh, and we, may be, we may not get on the train. Sometimes, solutions that have been developed for one market can be transferred with only minor modifications to another. But more often, it takes hard work, ingenuity, and numerous tests to develop a product to meet the specific demands of the new market. By setting up partnerships between NGOs, researchers and companies, we can develop the needed solutions based on an innovative, sustainable business model. According to the Access to Innovation philosophy, all members of the partnership gain from their involvement. The companies gain access to a vastly expanding market. Universities contribute with practically applicable research and real-world innovation, and the end users the customers that constitute the developing world market gain access to products that have been developed specifically to suit their demands. However, there are even more advantages to the innovative network. 
access to innovation is very much uh, a solution of the future because I believe we can only handle the large problems of the world ranging from poverty to climate change in public-private uh, research partnerships that cross borders and cross the traditional border lines between companies and universities and civil uh, society. Only if we can work together uh, I believe we can solve some of these pertinent and pressing problems of the world. In our approach, it's perfectly all right to make money by changing the world, as long as you're changing the world into something better. Mm -hmm.